What's up ladies and gents, welcome your faces back to another episode of the FIFA 17 Road to Hero Career Mode with Grimsby Town. Today, we have some transfer news, so we'll have a look in the email inbox now and have a quick browse. Unfortunately, both our offers have indeed been rejected for both Chris Malonga and for Lyle Taylor as well. I think Lyle Taylor will probably be... Um, Probably one of those players that not many people will want to get rid of, considering we are a rival club. Uh, but let's whack it up to 165. I think 165 is pretty respectable, but we'll have to wait and see. As I say, his contract is running down, and we are very interested in him as a player in general. Uh, we'll see what comes of Malonga before we go back for Taylor again. Taylor is a very good player. Yes, he is very cheap, but at the same time... We want to try and bring in quality players for minimal price. So if we can do that, then that's exactly what I'm gonna what, what I'm gonna do. I don't want to spend all of my money on wages when I don't need to. Uh, so let's have a look at the um, the next match. We've got the English Football League Cup against Wickham Wanderers. So let's get the show on the road. Okay, ladies and gents, here go. we go. We are indeed Cup. playing well, against Wickham Wanderers there, in the Football uh, League Cup. Very excited for today's match. We have made obvious. multiple changes to the squad. Now Still sticking with the 4-1-2-1-2 wide the home formation home just to try and get a little two. bit yeah, I think it looks that uh, way, in their faces, the really hone our craft and really get after them within this game. Davis is absolutely loving a run, isn't he? Let's go. Out wide, out wide, out wide. Vernon, Vernon. On your head. Oh, corner, 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 corner. Not bad, I'll take it. Solid play so far. On your Swede. Bottled it. Bottled it. Absolutely bottled it. Head it out, out, out. Don't touch it down there, you... Oh, my God, these players. Decision-making is not their strong suit, but there's only two players ahead of us. There are a couple of players joining me. There's good progress with this attack. Lovely. Hit that finish. Oh, How have you missed? Bit. How oh, have you missed? It's looking good, right, this nice. Move. Nice through ball here. Finish this. Wow, goal. finish that. No, finish that. That's a shot. Well, no one can finish their dinner today. Absolutely no one. Nah, ref, come oh, on, bruh. Mug me off. Never mind. Right, that's half time. Very, very good match thus far. Very frustrating. I do hope that um, we can get somebody to score a goal here because we are um, looking like bottle jobs at the moment. So we've had two away matches thus far in this season. So hopefully we'll get a home match at some point. There goes the cross. On your head, on your head. Out, out, out. What a save. What a save. No, what is that for a pass? Just hit it. He's literally sat there with the ball at his feet and didn't even bother doing anything. Cheers, pal. Oh, wow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Finish. What a save. Keeper. Yes. Yes, I'll take it. I don't even give a shit. I'll take it. Let's go. Oh, that's quality. The keeper's parried it into his own well, net. Do I goal, care? Absolutely goal, not. That, no, I will take it every day of the week. We've deserved that goal. Probably the second half, not so much. First half, absolutely. It could be absolutely deserved that in the first the half. Dancy! Shot. Nah, it's well wide. Well, well wide. It's three minutes. All coming down to a Sean Brown own goal. Never would I have ever thought that would have been the case, but unfortunately, it was. I'll take all the luck we can get in this situation, though. 110%. No, away. Away, beastie. No. Oh, my God. Wow. My arsehole was going 50p, 5p very, very quickly there. I'll definitely take that win, though. So if we've pushed through into the League Cup, moving up and... Up and onwards, any amount of money we win from any of these rounds is going to be of massive benefit to us. So I'm very, very happy with that. So 
Let's keep up the good uh, good form, shall we? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we have had some information back from Atletico Mineiro regarding the Mal. They believe that the cash sum is not... Ha What's this? Sorry? Have I read that wrong? We are interested in the player you have offered. We do not believe the cash sum is enough. Okay, so let's have a quick browse. To be fair, he is 3,800, so... I think it was more his stamina than anything else, if I remember correctly, that we, we were after. Yeah, he's 83 stamina. That's something that we really, really cannot afford to put a price on. Um, what we'll put it up to is 90. I think 90 is more than sufficient. 90 is more than sufficient here. So we'll go with 90, see if that'll do the deal. If not, then, well, we'll have to wait and see, shall we? So let's, let's advance and see what comes in next. Okay, so we have a scout report for Mason Holgate. There are a few players that have been scouting in the meantime. And again, Chris Malonga, just not, not what we're looking for right now. Not what we are looking for. So we've offered 165. Let's go to 184, as has been suggested by our uh, chief executive of the club. Let's see what, um, what they recommend. Let's see if it'll work more than anything. Uh, Mason Holgate's another player that I've been looking at. He is a right back from Everton here. 825,000 in value, 8,000 wages, which is pretty reasonable. Uh, his stamina is pretty good. He's very young. Uh, crossing and stuff is very, very poor. Uh, but overall, we're more going to use him just as a, as a right back. We're not going to use him as a wing back. So, again, another one, which is pretty good. And we've also looked at Brendan Galloway as well. I know he's recently moved to West Bromwich Albion. But then again, we may have the opportunity just to be able to achieve something. Something, possibly. Uh, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll wait till... We'll, we'll wait until after the match to see if we can get Chris Malonga. And again, this Atletico Mineiro one is going to be another difficult, difficult situation to try and resolve. Uh, but we do need to start looking for centre midfielders very quickly if we can. And um, we're going to need to pick them up quickly if we are going to purchase them. So let's uh, advance into the next match. I believe we've got Leighton Orient. If that, um, Yep, we do indeed have Leighton Orient at home, which is rather nice. So a home match is something we're very much looking forward to. So let's keep up the good form. Let's get a solid home result here. And um, yeah, as I say, after that, then we can look for some more additional players to potentially strengthen the squad. If we're playing the 4-1-2-1-2 formation constantly, I'm thinking we need a better center attacking midfielder. So again, we're going to have to dig deep into that transfer market and see if we can potentially pull out a wonder signing. Okay, so we are looking at Leighton Orient at home for the second game of the league campaign. Very excited about this. I am hoping to be able to at least achieve a solid two-goal two cushion victory today. Nice. Good play, good play. The only other thing that is frustrating is they are playing like 15,000 men at the back. So trying to get that. Hit that. Oh, no, it's off the post. Oh, that was so close. Who was that? Was that... Was that Atiles? He's hit that and... Oh, my God. That's unlucky. He hit that sweet. There we go. Good that's what we're looking here. for. That's the challenge. That's the challenge we're after. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Cut back, cut back, cut back, cut back. Play it in there. Back Roll back. No, hit that. Just hit that. Oh, it's just wide. Some big, big opportunities here. Big, big opportunities. On your head. You're on your own. On your own, hit that, shoot. No, again, it's just ricochet after ricochet. We just cannot get the ball in the goal. It's really hard. Omar, make a run, make a run, Omar. Omar's in, Omar's in. Wow, like he's so lackadaisical when it comes to getting the ball in the box. Liz, you're there, hit the ball, finesse it, goal. Jobs are good and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, but you've just got to make it as difficult as possible, don't you, Omar? Don't you, Omar? Right, second half, we've had some very good opportunities thus far, and I personally believe that we, we can we can win this game, we just need to really up the ante in terms of um, just being able to, oh wow, oh no, wow, they're getting a bit panicky at the back there, just a bit panicky, nice little touch, play it inside, he's there, He's there. 
He's there. He's there. There we go. Oh my the god. Big Ohms has done it again. What a finish. As I say, I did actually give myself a bit more of an opportunity there to open the body up and then try and get that ball through. Great delivery. Cut back in again. The defender was nowhere to be seen. Finish. Have some of that. That's what we needed in that first half. But I'm glad we can finally get off off to a reasonably good start in this second half. We need another goal to solidify the three points, I believe. But very, very happy with the performance thus far. Good kick. Good header, well done. Oh, nearly, very nearly. If he'd have squirmed that around the other way, that would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. Nice tackle. Keep that in. Well done, son. Great effort. We've had an hour gone here, and there's still 30 minutes left for Craig Disley. Wow, they've got Manager so many players away, back. Time for a change. Nice ball out wide. Moving from one side to the other. Good now play, good play. Cut back, maybe. Touch of the ball. Uh, who do we go to here? Some it's got to be him, and it? it's got to be Omar. Hit that first time. Finesse. Oh, it's a lovely goal. It is a lovely, lovely bit of play there from the team. Outstanding. Jose, welcome to the club, son. Great goal. Great goal. Just look at this. Beautiful bit of football into his feet. Reverse pass. He's there. First time for Ness. Bottom bin. Thank you very much. 2-0. Jose, take a bow, son. Let's go. Let's go. Rate this very high. This has been a hell of a 15-minute interval for Grimsby Town. Through ball there. Beautiful. Well played out. Well played out from the back. Another ball there. Another ball up top. Chambers. Come on. Come in. Oh, yes, Jose. I rate these forward plays you're going for. I rate them very highly. Finesse bins. Finesse bins. Finesse bins. Oh, my God. I called it. I called it before it even happened. Finesse bins. Omar Bogle. Absolutely unbelievable, Jeff. Just look at this other side. Finesse bins. Finesse bins. Finesse is it. And it's in there. Lovely. Unbelievable. Just a great goal there. Curls it absolutely beautifully. Right in that corner there. Now you see them all jumping up and down celebrating. Oh my god, that's such a good that's such a good feeling. Such a good feeling. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 Leighton Orient. Ah, nearly. Nearly there. But we'll take it anyway, ladies and gentlemen. A comfortable 3 0 victory over Leighton Orient at home. Sublime, sublime performance there. Omar really is stepping into his own here. I think Teuton might have to go, or Teuton. I'm not too sure how to say his name, but I think he needs to go. Uh, I think we'll be selling the other guy as well. I'm not 100% sure where I currently stand on that, but we only had 50-50% possession. I guess that kind of makes sense. Let's see who got the best player of the, the game. Omar Bogle, of course. That 9.4. Disley got a 9.0. Attila's an 8.7. Everybody playing their part in today's victory. Congratulations to Grimsby Town. Outstanding play. Outstanding. Anyway, let's go back to the menu. Let's see if there's any updates regarding transfers. And we'll continue on. Okay, guys. So, back into the main menu right now. And as you can see, Atletico Minera have again denied us the opportunity of signing De Mal. This is not really ideal, if I'm being completely honest. Um, Taylor is looking more and more influential here. Um, we're gonna have to go for like one, 130, I think. 130 might be enough. That's what I'm thinking. Is worth 210. But I'm thinking 130 plus right should do the deal. I think it should seal the deal there. I'm hoping, at least. So, let's, uh, have a look. There's a player that's been injured as well. Danny Andrew. Out for four weeks. That's not good. He's our only left back. That is not good. Mason Holgate as well here. Again, pretty solid player. 
Game was still waiting for uh, Brendan Galloway to come back. But Mason Holgate here, can he play in other any other positions? I'm not 100% sure if he can or not. Um, we're going to definitely need to look for a left-back replacement very, very quickly. Because if he's out for four weeks, our defenders are going to get very, very tired. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time now, just before the next episode, looking for a couple of left-backs just to replace Andrew, just temporarily until, obviously, he manages to recover and come back into the first team. He is only a 57 overall, so he may even fall down into the second the second team, shall we say, the cup team, if you like. Um, but we're going to give it a go nonetheless, see if we can find anybody of interest that would uh, benefit the team in some way, shape or form. But thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you did enjoy, drop a like rating for me. I would appreciate it. I love all your faces. Subscribe if you're new around here and follow me on social media down in the description. Send me as many tweets as you want regarding players. Send me any amount of players to my Twitter feed. I will try and respond to you as soon as I physically can. As I say, any suggestions are all welcome. Just be reasonable with the, uh, the money and the funds. And I'm quietly confident we can achieve great things at Grimsby Town. So thank you so much for watching. I love all your faces. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Have it.